Hello there and welcome to this new lecture. In this lecture I'll show you how to set up Python in your computer. Specifically uh, these instructions are for Windows users. So if you are a Mac or a Linux user you can skip this lecture. Uh, you can go to the next lecture where I'll show you how to set up Python on a Mac and the instructions also work for Linux users. So for Windows users please follow if you haven't installed Python yet. Uh, we're going to download and install Python and also try Python out. And so uh, you go to python.org, that's the official uh, Python website, and you go to downloads, and here you'll see the latest Python version. Currently this is uh, 3.6.0. Just click that, and uh, save file. You also notice that there's also a, a version uh, Python 2, so Python 2.7 to be exact. But Python 2 is not being supported anymore uh, after 2020, so Python 2 is slowly retiring. So it's advisable to use Python 3, this one in here. Uh, once you have downloaded the uh, .exe file, just click it. Run. You can choose to install it in the default directory, but you can also do a customized installation if you want to change the directory. Anyway, make sure you have checked this option at Python 3.6 to path. So I'm gonna go with the default installation process. And yeah, that was it. Uh, setup was successful. You can close the window now and we can go ahead and open Python. So how do we do that in uh, on Windows? Uh, well, you can press the Windows key button. So we're talking about the Win key. By pressing it, uh, you will be able to search on the Start button. Alternatively, you can uh, simply go to the Start button, click it, and then type CMD. And then click on CMD.exe, and that will open the Windows command prompt. And so this is like the terminal on Mac or, uh, or Linux. On Mac and Linux, is it is referred to as the terminal. On Windows, it is referred to as the command prompt or the command line. To open Python, all you have to do is type in Python, and that will open an interactive session of Python. And uh, an interactive session is best for testing out. So here you can write uh, lines of code one by one, like that and you promptly get the results in here. So this is why we call it interactive. Uh, but you cannot, uh, it's not very appropriate to write uh, multiple lines of code. So let's say you have a, a program that has 10 lines of code. And uh, in that case, you'd want to write those lines in a file, in a Python file. But we will cover that later. Um, this is the interactive shell. This is good for testing. So before you do a program, you are uh, not sure about certain aspects, certain uh, commands that you want to include, certain keywords that you want to include in your program, so you test things out in here very quickly. Very, this is very efficient. And it's also good for learning. To exit the interactive shell, you press exit and brackets, open and closing brackets. Now, uh, something you may be, you probably noted, was that uh, the Python that I opened was version 3.5.2. But why is that? Because I installed Python 3.6 in here. 3.6. So mm, why did I get Python 3.5.2? Well, the answer is that I already had three, uh, Python 3.5.2 installed on my Windows. So in other words, before I installed Python 3.6, I could um, uh, trigger a Python shell like that. So the question is, how do I run Python 3.6 now? Well, the, the first thing you should know is that there is no problem having multiple Python installations in your system. Uh, the key here is that you have to assign different commands to each of your Python installations. So, for instance, Python 3.5.2 has these commands to run Python. Now, for Python 3.6, we need to assign another command. And I'll go and search for the installation directory of 3.5. Uh, of Python 3.6, so open that. And now Windows, when you search for Python, when you enter the Python command here, uh, Windows 
is looking at the path variable, the Windows path variable, and it's searching for this type of command Python. But this was already occupied by another, uh, so by Python 3.5.2, that's why it triggers Python 3.5.2. Uh, so in that case, you may want to do a trick here. Uh, let's say uh, do Python 36 and restart the, the command prompt. And then run again Python 36. And you get Python 36. So that that's a trick. And again, of course, you can do operations here. And so on. Of course, you still have Python 3.5. At least I have Python 3.5. Maybe you don't because you uh, didn't have any Python installed just yet. So that's the idea. On your system, uh, if you install Python for the first time, if you install Python 3.6, you'll be able to execute Python with this command, Python. If you have an existing Python installation and you install a new one, no problem, you can run Python 36 uh, like I did. I hope this was clear and I hope you are up and running now with Python and I'll talk to you in the next lectures.